Hello, this is Jack from tofluency.com and this is my wife Kate. Hi. Now, we are back with another conversation that will allow you to learn English in a very natural way. And in this conversation, we're going to talk about summer. But before we do, be sure to go to tofluency.com slash summer to get the transcript, to find out how you can get the transcript and different words and phrases that are taken from this lesson. So, yeah, we're going to talk about summer today. It was Kate's idea for the topic. It so, was. why don't you lead us off? Sure. Um, so, summer actually starts next week for us when we're making this video. So, even though the weather's hot, um, it's, it's just about to be summer. So, my question, mm -hmm. if I can kick it off with a question, yeah. is, is summer your favorite season? And no. if, w explain your answer. Okay, my favorite season is spring. Okay. It used to be summer mm -hmm. when I was growing up in the UK. And that's because that's when we potentially had the best weather. Spring was always chilly. Mm -hmm. It was never really that warm. But then summer also used to be the time when you had the break from school. Yes. You had the break from whatever you were doing mm -hmm. at that time, like university, college, what we call college, and school. Mm -hmm. So I used to love the summer holidays. I used to love them. We did so many fun things. Um, but now I think it's spring mm -hmm. because it's a lot fresher. It's not as humid. And um, you have all the, the period of warm weather ahead of you. Yeah. So you start and you say, okay, from now on we're going to have so many months where it's not going to be cold, where we can do things outside, we can go mm -hmm. swimming, etc. So almost like the anticipation of summer is better than summer. <laughs> yes. Yeah, because every week yeah. is another week where it's going to get darker earlier. Mm -hmm. Not really cooler, but you just have less time of that, mm -hmm. that season. Yeah. Um, and we're getting very close to the summer solstice, aren't we? Mm -hmm. It's yeah, going to be absolutely. a week or so. Less yeah. than a week. Less than a week. Yeah, and this is a time when... It's the longest day of the year. Mm -hmm. um, what about you? Um, to be honest, summer, it's the same. Summer has been my favorite season. I would say right now it's not my favorite season because, again, it's just a little bit too hot to mm -hmm. enjoy the days outside. Um, because we live in the south of the United States, it gets up into the mid-80s and beyond. We have a lot of thunder showers in the afternoon. Um, so I think that, you know, it's not my favorite season, but there are there's just something special about summer, all of the light um, and the outdoor activities and the food. Yeah. Food. Yeah, like... What I enjoy about it, and you mm -hmm. have to try and make the most of it. Yeah. Like going swimming. Yes. I so love to going to swimming. find an outdoor pool mm -hmm. and just to feel really fresh and cool yeah. when it's hot outside. Um, I also like staying out late, like uh -huh. outdoors. So we don't get the opportunity to do this as much these days. But just to sit on the porch, uh -huh. have a cup of tea, yes. or have a beer, uh -huh. listen to the the insects. Mm -hmm. the noises that they make, and just relax. That's just what relax. I like about summer. And around here, um, we also have lightning bugs. Do you have yeah. lightning bugs in the UK? It's very rare to see one. Right. I remember one time when I saw one, but that mm -hmm. might be that might have been on holiday or something. Yeah. But no, we don't. Lightning bugs, they're also called fireflies. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can call them both, and they're these little flies that are, oh, I guess, what category of insect? I'm not sure. Yeah, they look like beetles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they, they light up. Yeah. And I think about mid-July, uh -huh. it's incredible, isn't it? Yeah. So all, they, they start in the ground and then mm -hmm. they move up into the trees. Mm -hmm. And then they just flash, yeah. don't they? It's, it's like a light show. Yeah. Not the most exciting mm -hmm. light show, but I think that it's still just incredible to me, like... Even as an adult, yeah, just to watch, it's, it's really exciting. And that, to me, sitting on our porch after dark, watching the fireflies is like the ultimate summer activity. Yeah, <laughs> and listening to the crickets yes. at the same mm -hmm. time. But then what can happen mm -hmm. is that's when the mosquitoes come. Yes. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I, I think summer is one of those times when 
a lot of things improve. You can do different things outside, mm -hmm. but there are also different kind of problems with the heat and the mosquitoes. Yeah. Um, it's the same for every season. There's always yeah. going to be advantages and disadvantages to yeah. it. Um, but yeah. Now. So I was going to ask you, or I was thinking too that we could talk about um, what are some activities for the summer that are really unique to where we live, to, to Asheville, North Carolina? Yeah. Um, Splashville. Splashville. <laughs> yeah. And th that's like this, um, these fountains downtown. Yep. That mm -hmm. you can see it in movies, don't you? They're not as spectacular mm -hmm. as movies. No. But you have like a flat area with these fountains that, that spring water out. Yep. Is that the right verb to use? Spring water? Spring water, shoot water. Shoot, yeah, they, <laughs> they shoot water out Spray. of the fountains. <laughs> And the, the kids and some adults as well, they just go around and enjoy it. And yeah. it's a really good way to, you know, take your kids somewhere in, that isn't a pool, mm -hmm. but they can still get that water. Yeah. Um, what else is there around Asheville? So river, river activities. Yeah, river. So you mentioned going out to an outdoor pool. Mm -hmm. I think what's even probably more typical around here is to find swimming holes. Yeah. So if you go out into the woods... Um, and there are places where the river is a little bit deeper um, because we're in the mountains and there's a lot of mountain rivers. There's places where the river is deeper and you can actually go swimming um, and waterfalls to swim near too. Yeah. So it's, al it's always very cold um, and refreshing. And it's just exciting to kind of be out there in the middle of nature yeah. um, and explore. Yeah. No, that, that's another one, yeah, the, the swimming holes. Mm -hmm. So it's basically like where the river is very quiet and it's got, it's kind of like a swimming pool within yeah. the river system. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they're, they're good fun. And also tubing as well. Yes, tubing. <laughs> yeah. um, which is where you float down the river. Mm -hmm. um, are you going to talk about the last time no. you did it? I got, I, well, we can just say in one sentence, I got a terrible, terrible sunburn. So yeah, always remember sunscreen when you're, when you're tubing. Yeah, we, we, we were rushing and Kate missed a bit. Um, <laughs> it was really bad, wasn't it? Yeah. But it was a lot of fun while we were on the river. My yes. sister was here. <laughs> uh -huh. um, and usually it's... It's between like two and five hours, I'd say. Yeah. You can mm -hmm. get into the river at different points mm -hmm. and you can use any kind of like flotation device. What, what, what's it called? A tube? A tube, yeah. A like tube. a. Uh -huh. Yeah. But there are different kind of things you can have. Yes. Like the most basic one is like a rubber ring, I mm -hmm. guess, where it's like round. It's like a donut mm -hmm. and you sit in it. But mm -hmm. then they realized, I think, that, hey, let's make this more comfortable. So they'll put something at the bottom so you yes. can sit on, um, like a back support uh -huh. as well. And then usually people will take another um, tube yes. and fill it with things to drink and eat mm -hmm. while you're floating down the river. Yep. And then there are these different bars and restaurants that you can stop at, mm -hmm. get out the river and just go there. Mm -hmm. And it creates a very, like... Like a really um, fun atmosphere, doesn't it? Because mm -hmm. people are, they've been on the river for hours. Mm -hmm. Then they come into a bar and they're happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're really happy. Yeah. Yeah. And there's other, there's other sports too. Like paddle boarding is really popular now. Yeah. Um, kayaking. Kayaking. People going canoes. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's just nice. It always has a little bit of a, that festive atmosphere mm -hmm. of people really enjoying getting out yeah. in the sun on the river. Uh, another thing that people do as well is they go on hikes mm -hmm. to higher altitudes yes. so that you can escape the heat a little bit. Mm -hmm. So there is one, Mount Mitchell, which I think is the highest peak in the eastern United States. Oh, yeah. Um, did you know that? I didn't know that. Oh. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't hide my surprise very well. <laughs> no. So you can go there, and it's a lot cooler. But yeah. You also get incredible views, too. Oh, yeah. There's some yeah. really beautiful views. So um, there's a road called the Parkway that goes through our town, mm -hmm. and you can take it up really far into the mountains and just see these incredible vistas 
of, you know, mountains all the way around. And there are different stop-off points where you mm-hmm. can go and take in the view. Mm-hmm. What, what, what are they called? Like, they call them observation... Observation A lookout. Points. Lookouts. Yeah, yeah. lookouts, mm-hmm. which just means that you look out at everything that you see. Yeah. Um, but that's a lot of fun to do as well. And in some of our favorite lookouts and places to stop, there are wild blueberries that grow in the summer. So I think also going out and getting to eat like wild berries, there's blueberries and blackberries. Yeah. Is just it's just that extra little bit of fun. So we can't wait. We've only been on one big hike with our son since he was born, but that's that's something that's on my summer bucket list. Yeah. What's on your summer bucket list? Um, I nothing. I mean, just to try and take advantage of things. Yeah. And to to get out earlier. Yeah. Because if you wait until eleven. Mm-hmm. It's usually a little bit too hot then. Yeah, definitely. Um, to to get outside and to do things, mm-hmm. but we also really enjoy going to different, mainly breweries. Mm-hmm. Ironically, I think we might have talked about this before, but one of the best places to go to with kids is to the place where they make beer, yes. and it doesn't like when you tell people they get a little bit confused sometimes uh-huh. because you think of a place where they make beer is very industrial mm-hmm. and where, you know, only adults go. Mm-hmm. But they've done a really good job here at trying to make it family friend- friendly. Yes. And one of our friends is actually opening up a brewery soon, uh-huh. which is going to be probably our choice, the, the place that we mm-hmm. go to, mm-hmm. um, on a, usually on a Friday night. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. Um, not that... Not that we necessarily drink a lot of beer, but it's really good to have a good atmosphere um, and just have a really relaxed place where kids can run around um, and adults can talk. And usually there's live music, so you can hear a band at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mm -hmm. and they have food trucks too. Oh yeah, and food trucks. Food trucks are a big part of life and summer where we live too. Um, so usually whenever you go somewhere where people might be gathering, there's some food truck that has parked up and you can order food from them. Um, and there's just all sorts of different cuisines and, um, different options to eat. And they're so delicious. Um, they do a really good job of putting together really interesting, um, meals. Yeah, there's a lot of variety. A lot of variety. Um, Yeah, so what I wanted to discuss as well was um, what you did in the summer as a kid. Okay, Because I I kind of talked a little bit about that, but, Mm -hmm. you know, and obviously it's different as you grow up, Mm -hmm. but I know that summer camps are popular here. Did you ever go to a summer camp? I did. I went to a lot of summer camps. Um, I was very fortunate. My parents really prioritized um, looking for interesting summer camps that I could do when I wasn't in school. So I got the opportunity to um, really explore the surrounding areas, to go out in nature and try different um, things like rappelling off of cliffs and going into caves. Um, And also I just did the the camp at my local, local school, which was you know, doing slip and slides. So they would put down a big plastic sheet um, and run water down it and you would slide down the hill. Um, And kind of more more typical summer activities. Probably the most exciting summer camp that I did, which was also where I worked as a teenager, was a sailing camp. So every summer I would go and take a sailing course and Mm -hmm. learn a little bit about sailing. Um, and then eventually I worked there as a teenager. So that will always have a really special place in my heart. That, that's a really cool summer job. Yeah, it was, it was genuinely like the ultimate summer job. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I had a couple of summer jobs. Mainly, well, mainly I had like year-round jobs, mm-hmm. paper rounds, milk rounds. But there was one year, I think I was 15 or 16, mm-hmm. and I worked in the hospital that does not sound like a typical summer job. No, it was really <laughs> rare. And in fact, I think they kind of, um, 
they kind of forgot about the rules a, a little bit because okay. I think you had to be 18 to do it. Uh-huh. But my mum knew someone at the hospital and they said, oh, it's going to be okay. Yeah. But, oh, it was crazy. It was yeah, crazy I working bet at you, the hospital. You saw a lot of things that oh, most yeah. most 15-year-olds don't get to see. And because the porters knew that I was young, they wanted to test the boundaries oh, to see yeah. what I would do and how uh-huh. I'd respond. Uh-huh. Um, and I think we'll talk about that in another episode. But it was a, a very fun month. Or uh-huh. like two, three months of that summer. Of that summer. Um, and did that, so your mother was a nurse mm-hmm. and you were working in a hospital. Did that kind of help clarify in your mind that you didn't want to pursue medicine? Or was that something that you were even considering? I wasn't, I didn't even think about it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just thought, wow, I'm earning money. <laughs> that is so much more than my paper round. Yeah. And I spent it on designer clothes. Did you? Yeah. No. Like a, a dragon shirt. <laughs> you know, these like grey pants and loafers. Um, All right. Some so jackets. Stop and back up a little bit. The dragon shirt. Yeah. Was it like an oriental style dragon? or yes. like? So it was like a blue button shirt uh-huh. with like this dragon pattern here. It uh-huh. was very fashionable at the time to wear that. Uh-huh. Um, but, you know, obviously, a few months later, I wasn't wearing any of it, but I was spending a lot of money on it. And um, yeah, yeah, that was really important to you. Yeah, and I was buying, remember buying um, different types of shoes and then like a like 80 pound jacket. Ooh. So I was spending a lot of money on this, you know, uh-huh. as a 16 year old. Uh-huh. That's what I spent my money on. <sighs> I wish you still had that dragon shirt. Mm, I don't, I don't think I do. But I'm sure we have pictures of it because I wore it for the school leaving party. Okay. Um, and I, I'll have to show you a picture because <laughs> I did something quite special to my hair. I bet you. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe Jack, if we do find it, maybe that will be part of the bonus materials. <laughs> yeah, I'll put it in the bonus materials. Describe the picture. Describe the picture. Yeah. Um, well, good. Anything else to say on summer? And summer, what are, I just want to talk about summer foods because, yes. as you know, foods are one of my passions. Like, yeah. What are your favorite summer foods? I, I love salads. I love salads. Yeah. yeah, because I don't want to eat it in the winter. Mm-hmm. It just doesn't match, yeah. does it? Mm-mm. You want more things like um, stews and, you know, mm-hmm. hot dishes. Yes. But the salad in the summer, and also because you can get a lot of it very fresh mm-hmm. and local, um... We, we go to this party every Wednesday, mm-hmm. and some of our friends, they, they grow all their own produce. Yeah. So they bring a salad that they just pick that day. Mm-hmm. It's incredible, isn't so it? So good. Yeah, it's delicious. So th- that's what I like about mm-hmm. the, the summer foods, is that you can get a lot of it fresh, and it just feels like the right time to eat salads, mm-hmm. for example. Yep. What about you? Um, I love corn. Corn, yeah. Mm-hmm. Corn on the cob. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I remember when you first talked about it. Uh-huh. And you would refuse to cook it any other way than to boil it. Uh-huh. Have you changed your mind on that now? Yes and no. <laughs> so I, f- I feel like I'm very opinionated about the corn that we get. Yeah. I like it to be extra fresh um, and really sweet. And I, and I think that there's nothing better than, like, corn that's been boiled for a couple minutes with some, like, fresh butter melted mm-hmm. on it. That's, that's probably my ultimate summer food. And I love watermelon, too. Yeah. I don't mm-hmm. like watermelon. I like to eat it sometimes. Mm-hmm. But it just... I know this sounds silly, but it just takes up so much room. <laughs> and it's hard to cut. So when our fridge is full of stuff... Uh-huh. You bring a watermelon home, yep. and I think, oh, where, where are we going to put this? <laughs> you know, and I have to solve that problem normally. So yeah, um, yeah it is, I'm not it a is big a fan big of commitment, watermelon. and I I feel like I can't look at watermelons the same way because you might remember this from last year when I was pregnant last year with our daughter, and every single week I would get an email saying what size fruit. There was a comparison, like, your baby is the size of a blueberry. Your baby is the size of a peach. And then the final fruit was a watermelon. And so I would just go to the grocery store and look at the watermelons thinking, like, 
<laughs> yeah. It's a different shape, though, isn't it? That's what always confused me about uh-huh. those ones. It's yeah. like, okay, it's the size of, it would say, like, a, um, not a sweet potato, but, like, a, it w- it would a say, peach. Yeah, or it would say, like, a stock of celery. Really? Or, no, it didn't right. say celery. But anyway, Lettuce. it never seemed to yeah. be, like, the shape of a baby. Yeah, I know. Like a watermelon, it's not perfectly round. No. But I guess they are a little bit when they're inside because they're like they're like curled up. Yeah. yeah. I guess at the end you do have like a watermelon yeah. size belly. Well, I think that's a good yeah. place to end it on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I'm I'm excited that question. Question. Oh, what's the question? Do you always have to ask oh, a yeah. question? Um, I think that my question for today is going to be the same ones that we've been talking about. Um, What is your ultimate summer activity and what is your favorite summer food? Yeah, that I find that really interesting as well because you'll see it in different countries. And is summer your favorite, your favorite season? Why or why not? We've asked three questions. I can ask three. Can I ask three questions? Yeah, answer them all. Answer your favorite one. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, and leave leave a, a comment below. Like I said before, go to, to fluency.com slash summer mm-hmm. to learn about how you can get the transcript, some downloadable phrases and other fun stuff, and maybe a picture of me in my dragon chair, <laughs> if I can find it. I think my sister has it somewhere. Uh, is she saving it to blackmail you? No, she had a different picture for that. Okay. I think you know which one. The one Let's where... See. I, I'll show you later. Anyway, it's not about me and my pictures. <laughs> uh, to fluency.com slash summer. If you're new here, please subscribe. Mm-hmm. And we will be very grateful if you shared this with your friends or on social media. Okay, so we'll speak to you soon. Thank you for being here. Happy summer. Happy summer. <laughs>